Mike the Vike here, back for yet another video. This time around, um, I'm just introducing to you, I like to keep you guys up to date a little bit, and uh, I got a new piece of hardware, um, that would be the MSI uh, GT70, and uh, there's a little bit of an interesting story about how I got this thing, but in the end I got it used. for roughly half price and uh, it is the model with GTX uh, 675 MX 4 gigabytes of D or GDDR5 I'm not sure how useful that is but uh, you know I, I don't really care since I got it for like super cheap uh, it's got an SSD here let me just uh, it's got an SSD of 128 gigabyte SSD um, a 750 gigabyte 7200 RPM storage drive an i7 3630QM overclocked to uh, 3.1 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM at 1600 megahertz. Um, it's got this absolutely awesome Steel Series keyboard, um, just just phenomenal. Uh, everything is super awesome. It's got Dyn Audio, which is pro possibly the best audio I've heard on a laptop of any sort. Uh, in fact, it's it's just phenomenal audio quality, and uh, the screen is a 1920 by 1080 uh, full HD uh, matte display. Uh, the viewing angles are phenomenal so far, and I, there's some sort of webcam. I don't really use the webcams honestly, but it's there. And uh, yeah, overall a fantastic system. I'll I'll just close it up for you guys. And uh, yeah, you did see a little bit of the that thing lights up a little bit and. It's a super, super, super nice, nice, nice laptop, and yeah, it's actually pretty thin, you know, it's, um, you know, for what it is, I, I obviously, it's not an ultra buck or anything near that, but for the amount of performance you get, like, I don't know if you guys remember that old desktop that was sitting here before, but uh, this is about the same power as that, uh, obviously the architecture of a lot of the things, like the processor and graphics card, are uh, newer, and so for a lot of games you're getting better performance but in desktop terms the graphics card as far as I know is about the same as a 570 and if you think about how big a desktop is and how small this thing is it's just phenomenal like how much power you can pack into a laptop these days but uh, yeah I just wanted to show you guys this thing because it's kinda cool I'll, I'll probably do some sort of a review on it and uh, maybe a few benchmark videos here and there because it's a pretty fantastic system and we'll just show you how quick it boots up. Should go in a couple, yeah, bam, and it's already on. Super awesome system and uh, I absolutely love the thing. The keyboard changes colors, it's got three different sectors and just an amazing rig and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on this thing. As time goes by, so far I've got no complaints. I was expecting it to be maybe too loud or noisy. Uh, it's dead silent. Not dead silent, but very unhearable when you're running it in standard mode. Of course, it does have a few options here. Uh, like, for example, we can press that. It just like overclocks kind of all the things, like the graphics card, if you want more performance. Uh, this button turns on like like crazy fans. They those ones get super loud, but I there's no need yet. I'm monitoring the temperatures all the time. And the temperatures do go to down about like 5 degrees or maybe 10 even at some points once it's been running for a bit. So it definitely does a good job, but as far as I I'm concerned, it doesn't I don't really need to use it that badly. That is just for your the one next to it is for your keyboard, Wi-Fi, turn the display on and off and you take this one disconnects the or takes out the CD drive anyway that's basically it I just wanted to show you guys this thing uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos on this thing